If music soothes the savage beast, then what effect would it have on these cold, massive steel giants used to break ground on the new $200 million Rene and Henry Sagerstrom Concert Hall and Samueli Theater? The anticipation was awesome for the thousands of music lovers, contributors, and planners who came to the Orange County Performing Arts Center for a truly unique performance of sight and sound. We're actually going to be performing to the uh to the orchestra, or actually to the guy that's conducting the orchestra, and uh, we're going to be doing moves with the equipment to the uh, sound of the, the orchestra. I, you know, it beats me. I've conducted everything. I've conducted on baseball fields, I've conducted in football arenas, I've conducted uh, motors, I've conducted things like that, but I have never conducted these what they call excavators you know this is this is almost like science fiction but they've been practicing and I hear they're very good I think it's great I think it's great I, I uh, am speechless as you can tell it's a first for us we're usually in Levi's and t-shirts but we're having a good time and, and I think it's a good turnout and we're happy to be here before the caterpillars would perform their waltz thousands packed Sagerstrom Hall for a special performance of brilliant sounds by the Pacific Symphony led by world-renowned maestro Carl St. Clair, who in keeping with tonight's theme, donned the appropriate headgear for the earth-shattering event. As the clunky metal giants were fast asleep outside, inside major contributors, planners, and city officials who made the expansion project possible were bestowed with gifts, accolades, and ovations. Paul Fellino, chairman of the board and head of the concert hall fundraising project, had the honor of introducing the lead contributor whose name will forever be synonymous with bringing the best of art into Costa Mesa. Henry Sagerstrom's generous donation of $40 million is the single largest charitable gift in Orange County and will create one of the finest cultural centers of the world here in Costa Mesa. Now Costa Mesa has, is going to have the finest facilities in the world and uh, a generous site of 12 acres of land which equals the site of, uh, of Lincoln Center in New York. So it's, um, it, 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 it's a great um, project for Costa Mesa. This project couldn't happen without the support from the community and the Seegersoms being the biggest supporters with the 40 million contribution. Outstanding. The expansion project known as Building on the Vision will open in 2006. Along with the 2,000 seat state-of-the-art concert hall, the center will feature the 500 seat Samueli Theater, named for the extremely gracious donation from Henry and Susan Samueli. The concert hall and theater with the planned restaurant, dressing rooms, music library, large orchestra, and individual rehearsal rooms will all be enclosed in a spectacularly elegant glass exterior that was the vision and design of international architectural genius Cesar Pelli. The Sagerstrom Center for the Arts will enhance the area's business, increase tourism, benefit our schools, universities, and the economy, and enrich many of our lives in every aspect. It will also allow the Sagerstrom Center for the Arts to use great art as an educational instrument, furthering the goals and dreams that have become a part of Building on the Vision. Our commitment is to bring 500,000 K through 12 kids here a year, meaning virtually every student in Orange County will come to this center for maybe their only arts education. It's very, very important for our, for our, our, our county, our city, and for us. We have, as a city, contributed $50,000 to that part of the project, and it's, as they said during the um, evening tonight, uh, over 500,000 students are going to pass through here and, and see some performing arts, which they may not otherwise have seen. That is absolutely a, an incredible contribution to our youngsters. As the attendees to the groundbreaking ceremony moved outside, 
they would be given a taste of the pure magic through music that will certainly become the signature of the Rene and Henry Sagerstrom Concert Hall at Samueli Music Theater. So what effect will music have on tons of cold metal steel? Maestro, please. in our theater arts district and I am so proud to be here on behalf of the city. Uh, it's going to be a phenomenal project and if uh, the hall is anything like the groundbreaking, it's going to be spectacular. Well, this is going to be the cultural center, I believe, of all of California. There will be nothing like it anywhere. Orange County will be known worldwide for being a cultural center and Costa Mesa will be the city of the arts. Well, you only have one chance to do it, don't you? When you do it, you better do it right. And I think it was done extremely well. 